Accessibility, what is it indeed? Um, when the mayor went to Beijing at the end of the Paralympic closing ceremony, he uh, made an aspiration that the London 2012 Games would be the most accessible ever. And we've been working really hard to make that a reality. Access um, in terms of the Games themselves is making sure that the venues and the park in um, uh, East London is very accessible to disabled people, to disabled spectators, but also to the athletes, to the Paralympic athletes, but also to the staff and the volunteers and the officials working there. Um, we've worked very closely with the Olympic Delivery Authority to deliver an inclusive design process throughout the building of the venues. Um, we've got very accessible venues now. There's wheelchair spaces, amenity seats, lift access everywhere. We've got a very gradual gradient across the park so you can access all aspects of the park. One in five of us are disabled and of course when we go out and about we don't go on our own, we go with our families and our friends and over 50%, 58% of people I think it is, um, are affected by how accessible the business is to them and won't go back to that business if it's not been welcoming to them, if it's not provided for them, if it's not made it accessible to them. So it's very important that we um, ensure that businesses are open um, and welcoming, which is why we've developed our Destination London programme, which is a uh, one of our Access for Visitors programmes that the Greater London Authority has developed this year. It's a programme, an e-learning programme on our website so that any customer facing business uh, managers and frontline staff can go onto the website and do a training programme that will help them to deliver a really accessible service. It's got accessibility tips on there, it tells you about websites, about customer service, how to find out information about um, uh, access in London. And the other aspect of that is, talking about access to information, uh, we've partnered with Direct Inquiries and produced a, a website called inclusivelondon.com. So if you have a disability, you have access needs and you want to know whether you can get into a restaurant or whether there's a, a wheelchair accessible bedroom in a hotel or whether the tourist attraction has got toilet facilities, you can go onto the website and find that out and it will tell you about all the accessible businesses in London. So what businesses can do is they can register on that website, they can audit their buildings, their services and their business, put all that up-to-date information on the website and then visitors to London this summer can find your business and use your business and uh, if you train your staff through Destination London we know that those people will have a welcome and an accessible experience and that's what it's all about this summer having an accessible experience and we want that to carry on into legacy as well not just for this summer so we're continuing that relationship um, with Destination London and Inclusive London into legacy as well. Uh, we are endeavouring to make London more and more accessible an awful lot of work has gone on in, in the um, last few years particularly on accessible transport we've also had a project to improve access along the south bank of the River Thames we've provided a very accessible route now from um, Waterloo to Tower Bridge, including the historic cobbles around Southwark Cathedral, which we've relayed so that it's a very um, smooth and level surface there. Um, London's a historic city, so it'll always have some challenges, but we are hoping that the programmes that we've developed this summer will be used as a catalyst and encourage uh, businesses and developers and designers to take that forward in the future and make London even more accessible than it is already.